command lines which we are not going into details uh, we'll take this up in any further lecture in the advanced setting there are adapter specific uh, message attributes which uh, which means that these data the adapter specific message attributes they do not get returned into the actual payload but they can be used you can send as many data as possible in the in the newer version of this uh, adapter but here we have one two three six six of the attributes which you can pass and uh, you can use it for uh, for different different purposes which i'll show you in the upcoming lecture advanced mode additional parameters need for okay uh, so maximum size okay so in advanced uh, parameter what does this do that let's say that your file receiver your file uh, in the sftp folder or ftp folder which you have kept is of 1 gb in that case the file will be it will take a lot of time to pull that file so in this case or let's say that when you are pulling a file it is still being written in the uh, you know in the source so for having a check on that we use these parameters so to explain it better let's say that someone is writing a file which you have to pick from the sender adapter now how to know that that file has been completely written so in that case you will wait and check whether the file has the content of the file has changed or not that value you have to give here that for how long you want to wait to check whether the file content has changed or not and after that you know you can process the file the same goes for the maximum file size so maximum file size what it does that it will pick the file up to maximum file size and then the remaining it will pick again okay so this this is also done in the module module parameter you can use a few of the modules here uh, which i'll not be taking right now but there are message transformation beans uh, these kind of adapter module or your custom adapter modules which you create you can use it here generally we do it when there is a complex requirement and in those cases we need to do the custom builds or use the uh, you know the adapter modules to serve those purpose but since it is a pass through and it's a very basic scenario we will not be using it so i'm going ahead and i am activating this okay i'll be creating one new channel here this will be file receiver R-E-C-E-I-V-R, yes and then the channel name will be cc file center R-E-C-I-V. yeah so we are sending it to ftp server and it's a receiver channel so i have named it like this now okay now we are going to choose the adapter on the receiver side so it will be a file adapter again and transport protocol will be nfs and message protocol will be file so if you can see here there there you get the file content conversion message protocol as well uh, so th these things this happens when you have to convert an xml in a given particular given way into a, a flat file so we use file content conversion in those scenarios but we are not using it here and this is the adapter engine so we have only one adapter engine that is central adapter engine okay so we are using it in the receiver side the target directory so target directory will be same as the source directory and we go here integration output output dot text 
save it and activate it no sorry I'll save it activate it activated this the last part is to create the ICO communication component will be PC file center interface will keep name it as okay this is the interface which we are using name is space you can give any name space but I'm using this here and create affected by data change return status code okay we are going to ignore this message now com channel so here we'll keep the sender communication channel The receiver, I'm going to get the receiver component BC file receiver. Receiver interface. So operation mapping is not mandatory. I'll just be giving the interface name. The same as this apart from the suffix part, which is IN. In. Namespace will be the same as this. It's not mandatory, but whatever namespace is there uh, for this sender interface, service, sorry, service interface, you'll give that. Okay, I'm going to create this and activate. So now, our, let's see. Okay, so I have forgot to add the receiver channel. Outbound processing. This is where I'll give the receiver channel. If you can see, I'm already getting this receiver channel in the list and saved it. Now I'll activate. Now you'll go to message monitoring and check whether this service interface is processing any message or not. If you can see, I have this integration engine and adapter engine. So this is a dual type installation where I have the app stack as well. And I'll go here. Okay. I'll go for the entire day daily. In the interface, I'll give the service interface name. It is showing that there, there are no messages, so let me check. I'll go to the combination channel. Go back here. So this communication channel is running fine. I'll stop and start it again. And I'll also start the sender channel. And this is an error. What does this say? Never started. Okay, so I'll stop and start. So it has started processing. If you can see the logs, it has processed one of the messages. So I go back to message monitor again. 
put the interface name here and I should be able to see message now yes so there is one successful message so this is how we configure a FTP to FTP or SFTP to SFTP scenario in the next lecture I'll show you how does what's the meaning of each and every XML tag and structure of the PI message and what is the significance of uh, the dynamic attributes thank you